What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross, I like games, and today we've got a couple of new One Piece leaders to talk about. And look, One Piece, One Piece training card game is a game where you build your deck around your leader. That means that every time we have new leaders to talk about, it, it's kind of like leaders and secret rares. They are the cards for which we get really excited. We have two new leaders coming up from OPO4, Kingdom of Conspiracy, Kingdom of Intrigue, depending on your language. The point is, we've got two new leaders. And look, I've already mentioned one leader from this set that I am very, very excited about. That's a Nefertari Vivi, which can give your characters rush. I have gone and found another leader that I am very, very excited about here. So let's start off having a little bit of a look. And I want to say, Isho? Let's go for that, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go for that. Now, we've got a navy leader here. Dual color, green and black. I should mention I have done the translations here myself. Though I did check with a lovely Russ Marrow over on Twitter. But it did confirm that I was right. And yay! Life is good. So what we've got here is 5,000 power for life, which is what we expect from dual color leaders. Do remember that in OP04, we've got that new thing where dual color leaders can have five life. However, if they have five life, they have a ruling on that says they're not able to attack. Though they can have five life, that is quite important. And what we've got here is Don X1, all of your opponent's characters get minus one to their cost. Bearing in mind, of course, this is a part black leader. And the whole point about black decks in the One Piece trading card game is that they, they reduce your cost... And then they work on the fact that you have a reduced cost. That is that is the, the big hook of black cards in the One Piece TCG. It really is as simple as that. That is what they do. That is their hook. So we could have a little bit of a look at things like the Monkey to Garp from the Black Starter deck. Trash one card, rest this card, KO up to one of your opponents, cost four or lower characters. So here, this leader just automatically makes all of your opponents five cost characters into four cost characters, which then brings them into range of Monkey to Garp. And jobs are good, and ladies and gentlemen, jobs are good. And that is like one random example. Let's be clear, <laughs> there's a lot. There's a lot more that we, we could use here as examples, but I fear we would be here all day and I've kind of made my point. It's all about reducing cost and taking advantage of the reduced cost. That is what these black cards tend to do. So here we got a leader that does it very nicely. I'm kind of a fan of this, but it gets better. Because there is a second skill here that says, at the end of your turn, pay one Don activate one of your five cost or lower characters oh oh yes ladies and gentlemen this is phenomenal absolutely phenomenal i am a gigantic gigantic fan of this now one thing that must be borne in mind here it is at the end of your turn which means there's no double attacking here. That is not the point of this character or this leader. It is not letting your other characters double attack. That does not work here. That is not where we're going. There will be no double attack, gutted, etc. However, what it does do very nicely indeed is it allows you to activate a character going into your opponent's turn. And there's basically two reasons to do this. Reason number one... Remember the general rule that you can only attack rested characters. So what you're going to do here is pay one Don to set one of your characters to active so that they're not rested, so that you cannot have them attack during your opponent's turn, essentially to protect them. The other thing that I am thinking about here quite nicely, blockers. I adore this with blockers because essentially what you get to do here is you get to take one of your characters attack on your turn and then generally speaking you would not be able to block on your opponent's turn because you're exhausted and you don't set yourself to active until it goes back into your turn so take something like the trafalgar law from op01 
as a nice example here. Great card. It is a green card. And on play, you may return one of your characters to your hand, generally a low-cost character, and then play a free cost to lower character from your hand. It, it's a really good way of swapping those one cost you play in the early turns for more expensive, better characters later on in the game. It's a very cool card. But it's also a 6,000 power blocker. So 6,000, and 6,000 is decent, right? Because the general rule here is, when you attack, the tie goes to the attacker. Vast majority of leaders have 5,000 power. So here, if I attack with Trafalgar Law, my opponent has got to either block or counter 2,000 in order to stop my attack going through. That makes Law a decent attacker. But it also makes it a decent blocker, because if my opponent is attacking with a 6,000 power character, I can use Law to stop them. And that's a good thing, ladies and gentlemen. That's a very good thing indeed. And here I can do both. I can attack with Law on my turn. And then at the end of my turn, I pay one Don to put Law back to active. And then I get to block with it on my opponent's turn. This is one example. And I choose this because it is a five cost blocker which is very, very nice. But I could even go for Hina from OPO2. It's a black card, but remember we're going dual color black and green here. Again, five costs 6,000 power with blocker. But on block, I can choose one of my opponent's characters of a cost of six or less, and they cannot attack during this turn. So I could use this and essentially, again, be attacking with Hina during my turn and blocking on my opponent's turn. Obviously, I'm looking for your five cost blockers here because I want to get the maximum amount of use out of this. And I'm going to be honest with you, ladies and gentlemen, I like this. I like this leader very, very much indeed. OPO4 has given me some awkward decisions to make because up till now, I've just been like, yeah, Nefertari Vivi giving my characters rush. That is absolutely what I want to be building around. And now I'm taking a look at this and going, well, you know what? This is another leader that I could absolutely build around and that is making my life a little bit awkward. But that is not the only leader that was revealed this morning. We also saw the reveal of Queen, a dual color blue and yellow leader. Of course, we've had a bunch of Queen cards in the game so far. We've not had a Queen leader yet, so now seems like a good time to go and have a Queen leader. Is it any good? Well, this one is a little bit more awkward. This one did take me a minute to actually figure out. What we've got here is Don X1, when attacking, if the total number of cards in your hand and life is four or less, draw a card. If you have an eight cost or higher character on the field, instead of drawing, you may place up to one card from your deck to the top of your life. Oh, well, this is quite good, ladies and gentlemen, but it's also kind of awkward. I'll be honest with you. This one is a little bit awkward. And look, drawing is good. Drawing, we, we've made this point a few times in these videos, drawing in the One Piece TCG is not something you get to do very often. So anytime you get to draw cards, this is a very, very good thing. We've seen that one of the blue leaders that saw a bunch of play in Japan, at least in the OPO2 format, was your Ivankov. And this was because at the end of your turn, if you have zero cards in hand, draw two. That was draw two under really awkward circumstances, and it was a really good card. Saw a bunch of play. I'm not seeing quite so much love for it in the English format, but certainly in Japan, in the OPO2 meta, this saw a whole bunch of play. This was great. So, okay, here you're drawing a card, but only if the total number of cards in your hand and life is four or less. Now, of course, we know that one of the things that yellow does so beautifully is it essentially takes cards out of your life. So what you could do here is just use some yellow cards in the early-ish game, take the cards from your life, and then get yourself down to a hand size that lets you do this. Or indeed, just play a bunch of cards from your hand as long as you've got the Don available to do so. Basically, get yourself low enough to use it. Drawing a card is good. But clearly, clearly... The real bonus of this, the real reason to play this leader, and drawing cards is good, don't get me wrong, but every turn recovery. I mean, if you go down to, say, one card in your life, you can have three cards in hand, and then every turn you're recovering one. 
This sounds good, ladies and gentlemen. This sounds very, very good. You can even kind of let one attack through per turn, knowing that you can just replace it the following turn. I am unsure about this one, I'm going to be honest with you. I love the idea of recovery. Recovery is good. I am unsure as to how often... Because the problem here is, if you've got a lot of life or a lot of cards in hand, this is going to become awkward. Like, really awkward. As in, until you go down to four life, you've basically got to have an empty hand. And then after that, you can start having, like, one or two cards in hand. And it, it just gets super awkward. If you can make this work, however, there is clearly a lot of potential. Isho, I just think is great. I think this is a phenomenal leader. This one looks absolutely redonk. That's what I think. I want to know what you think. So let me know in the comment section, would you? Good us. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about One Piece and a bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, join a Discord, all kinds of fun things. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. Money's Ross, and you've been watching Wassy Plays.